Hello everyone, welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. It is Francesco here. Now in today's video, it's Carla Me, and we're gonna be chatting about Todoist Foundations, which is the latest release of Todoist, and giving a bit of a context to how Carl uses his subtasks, but we also try and solve the routine reminders issue inside of a subtask that we think and during this video, you will actually see us solve it, but then realize right after, even when I turned off, like sort of turned off the call, that I didn't solve it. You'll find some value from me and Carl talking about some of the flaws that they may be or may not be fixing in the future. But of course, this is a very early update. And Amir has even said that they're picking up on small things that the community are saying. So please do subscribe to Carl on YouTube. He will be back tomorrow to do a top 10 to do his feature, which I think you'll thoroughly enjoy. So make sure you subscribe to both of us both to Keep Productive and Carl as well um, before that video because you'll get all of that lovely content. So guys, I'll see you in a moment for a chat with me and Carl. Hey guys, just before we begin, a little word from our sponsor. Are you in a sales team? Do you manage sales leads? Are you in charge of the sales pipeline? If the answer is yes, then you'll need to know about Pipedrive. Managing leads, keeping track of communications, and managing processes can be overwhelming. Pipedrive makes sales simpler with a host of features to help you stay on top of all the new leads and conversations. Let's hone in on a feature. Pipedrive's lead booster feature is a customizable chatbot that you can add to any page of your website. Lead Booster will engage visitors to your site and send qualified leads direct to the right person in your sales team. Now, 90,000 companies use Pipedrive and deals worth a combined total of over 24 billion have been closed on the CRM software. It's one of the best sales tools for managing incoming leads out there. Now, I used Pipedrive at the previous company I worked with and it was super easy to get on with. Although there's plenty of ways you can optimize it even further. There was a chap in our work who really dug deep and set up some fantastic workflows educating me in the process. Now Pipedrive aims to be your one-stop sales hub. You can learn more about Pipedrive in the description below and start winning deals for you and your team in this easy to use hub. You can go to pipedrive.com slash keep productive to find out more about Pipedrive. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. Today I'm joined by Carl. Uh, Carl, how are you doing? Oh, you're gonna have to start again. <laughs> you just you just froze at that point. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'll try. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. It is Francesco here, and we're very lucky to be joined by Carl Pauline, who is a legend in the to-do space as well as many <laughs> other spaces. It's good to have you, Carl. It's great to be back on your channel, Francesco. Thanks for asking me to come back. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, we'll, mm. we'll be having you on a lot. I think um, mm. we were just talking before about the, mm. the top tips side of stuff. So that would mm. be pretty fun to have. Um, mm. So the big topic today, guys, is all about the subtasks. Um, subtasks in Todoist have changed a little. And what we're going to do is, is briefly talk about that. Carl's going to give a demonstration of how subtasks work and how he's using them himself which is quite nice mm -hmm. um, and then we're going to talk about a few of the uh, nuances that people are struggling with um, but yeah Carl like uh, first sort of question is I, I've been watching a few of your videos about the Todoist Foundations I, you're pretty happy with it right? I am yes because uh, the the thing I really like is the new task view because yeah. it slows me down because mm. what I found was, is when I was processing my inbox, it was just a little bit too easy to be doing at, and then the label, P, whatever flag, and M-O-N for Monday. Yeah. And I wasn't really taking the time to think, actually, do I really want to do this task? So yeah. to slow me down, I mean, you can still do that if you wish, but I actually now slow myself down. I hit the I button and I go yeah. in and then I can think, do I really want to do this task? <laughs> um, yeah. Because, you know, we, we, the problem most people have is overwhelm. Yeah. And it, it's because we're, we're, collect, we're so good at collecting, which mm. is a good thing. 
but it can also be a bad thing because now we have too much and we have to make decisions and you know we just say, oh, I'll do it later but yeah. when I hit that I button it sort of tells me okay slow down yeah. do I really want to do this task is it meaningful is it really mm-hmm. going to take me further forward and I, I've really enjoyed that because I mean of course there are times I want to I want to get through it quickly and I just do it the traditional way using yeah. the keyboard you know the at and stuff but when I have the time, I will. I just say, no, slow down. Yeah, I just that, love that. Yeah, it's a really good example of it. I like. I think mm. people like like I I am doing that now as well. Like it, it just helps you to focus on like what are you doing in this moment, like what is active. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And and for me, like I never used subtasks before. I don't know about mm-hmm. you. Like, how did you use subtasks? I like, did. I I used the we called it the non-completable task, and then the subtask <laughs> underneath that. And I did yeah. use that. And uh, yeah. because there were some projects like creating an online course, there's there's a pre section, there's a recording section, and then there's a, a post section like the marketing and and everything to come with it. Now yeah. you can separate those out into different projects, which I always felt was a bit. Uh, yeah. Um, but I prefer now to use the sections and just keep it all in one project. Yeah. Yeah. Sections are like gold. It's better dust. for me. It's like, yeah. It's, the sections are perfect. Cause it's like, you've got mm. like this area where you're just like, you, you can drill down even further. And there, there's a few things that I don't like, like, for example, like, you know, when you select a project, you use the hashtag to mm-hmm. capture it. I wish that mm-hmm. the sections pop down when that happens when you add yeah. it. Yeah, about you. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, it doesn't. Yeah, you're right. But there is a way. If you go into the the task view, oh, and right. you hit the and you hit the the project icon, then yeah. the subtasks will the, the subtasks, subsections yeah. will come up. The sections will yeah. come up. Um, but I think we've got to remember this is brand new, and uh, I'm pretty sure yeah. that Todoist have been waiting for all of this feedback because. The- <laughs> People in the beta program, I'm sure, have been saying, it's wonderful, it's amazing, and didn't probably give them any criticism. Mm. And now they're getting the criticism. So I'm sure yeah. there'll be a few things that are changed over the coming weeks that just solve. Uh, and as we were talking about before earlier, the biggest one is all the tasks now disappear. Yeah, yeah. And I think <laughs> even for me, that's a bit unnerving because you think, oh, they've gone. I, even though actually it's quite easy to get them back, but now yeah. it's an extra step to get them back whereas before you just drop down and you can say i've done all those that's great Uh, but now you've got that extra step of view task i suspect they might consider i'm guessing here but they might consider bringing that back for subtasks again i'm not sure but as i say yeah maybe they will i think you're right i think like they've almost like built it for the future i think like as in like Mm -hmm. to layer on the late the the layouts, like for example, mm-hmm. boards. For boards mm-hmm. to work, I think they had to do this the way they've done this. I, I suspect so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it's exciting uh, either way. Um, yeah. Do you mind showing us like how you use subtasks? Well? Yes. So now we're going to have the fun bit where I'm going to try and get my share my desk uh, share my desktop <laughs> and make this look seamless. Yeah. If it if and it looks seamless, loads of editing. Yeah. Yes, there'll be a lot of editing going on. So here we go. Um, no, 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 no it's not, That's not the screen I wanted to share. Oh. <laughs> Hang it's, on. Uh, good, good song recommendations for everyone. That's yes, I got you. Go. Yeah. Oh, go. Where is it? Where's? <laughs> Hang on a minute. I need to get the right. Hang on. I'm going back. Yeah. No, we're oh. going to keep this in. It's a, it's a fix. Yeah, yeah, keep, keep I can see my uh, the music I was listening to right then. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm going to do it this way, so I can do it now. Share screen. Uh, okay. Hopefully this. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Right. So now you can see. So I, what I wanted to do is I'm going to show you an example. This is actually one that I use, and okay. uh, this is not. Aha, this is not uh, a section. <laughs> if I tap in there, this is the traditional way. This is the old way that we did it. Yes, it is. Um, yeah. So we all did this. Uh, so this is buying a car. Uh, and this is a genuine project that I have in my someday maybe at the moment. Um, it's going to happen next year. But, um, oops, my disappeared there. Let's go. Here we go. So what we've done, he- what I've done here is I've got the pre-purchase. When you buy a car, there's, there's at least two parts to it. There's the pre-purchase. I guess there's the purchase, but that's quite easy. Go and yeah. pick it up, sign the papers. <laughs> um, that's, a, that's a calendar event. And then there's the post-purchase. Mm. So this is the traditional way that we did it, which was like the um, here. So what we do is the 
non-completable task. And then I would always bold it, like I've done here, the two exclamation marks. So that's, that's how we do it. But now what you can do is drop down here, add the section. So I can now do the um, pre-purchase. Uh, and this is, by the way, for those of you with the old uh, style, the, the, the previous way of doing it, what you can now do is just drag these just down. It's very simple. Oops. Uh, um, just drag them down under the section. And I'm doing this all wrong now because it's all going out of sync. Um, <laughs> drag that back. It's the pressure of being on. Yeah. Oh, no, it's gone, yeah, to, it's it? gone to the wrong I know. That's something I... Another problem I found is... I'll sort this out yeah. later. But that's another problem. You drag there, and suddenly, as you're trying to drag it out... Yeah, you, like you round, ...into another guess. project. Yeah. And yeah. I don't... That's not necessarily what I want to do. So I have to come up here. Aha. Uh -huh. It's uh, a lot more sensitive with the... It is. Tasks, I've noticed. Like, hmm. like, if you accidentally drop it down below one, it'll just, like, hook on. But I guess that hmm. will be fixed. Just it is. I mean, they, they've got these things will get six. But what you've seen yeah. now, now, this is a really good example. And now I can actually show you the difference. So as you can see, if I go into the post purchase, which is the traditional way, mm. it's considered a task. So I've got the, the yeah, task thing yeah. over here. I don't know if that's we'll move that one over there now. Um, so this is showing up as a task. Mm. As a section, there's no task. You know, there's none of that additional stuff, but the three dots which is I can yeah. add a task to it, I can edit the section, which basically means I can change the title, uh, move yeah. section, and so on. So, but it's very different from this way. Yeah, yeah. Now, the beauty yeah, is, um, if I, I've got to try and remember how to do this. So let's just give a um, uh, test task. This is something yeah. that I found now is, so I've got that in there, and if I... Mm -hmm. subsection uh, the project and I've got to find it you see all my real projects here <laughs> um, there we go there uh, and now if you notice it comes up here sections yes yeah they appear so yeah. I can now go pre-purchase and that's now added to my pre-purchase and cross out there and you can see the test task is now added to the pre-purchase section so you can do it mm, um, yeah. but you have to go into the actual task view to do that yeah you know it's um, a, it's, it's it is a shame though that there isn't a way to for every old method that you've done like what you have before uh the mm. pre-purchase it automatically changed to a section header um i know because that i can imagine nice, but, so many people yeah. have like done yeah. it and they've had to like triage or administrate there to do it yeah, I mean, some of the other things, the ones that, like my active projects and areas of focus, I've actually come through and done that, and it took me an hour or two to do it. Yeah, um, yeah. But this, is, this was in my someday, maybe, so I wasn't touching it at the moment. But this is a good example of how you can actually switch yeah. them over from the traditional point of view to a, to a section. And the same you can do, like, uh, the post, for me, the post purchase. I can now add the section here. And you can move yeah. these around just like, you know, I can now move that out there. Yeah. <laughs> no, time. I can't. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah, I know yeah. something else I noticed. You, you, it, it, it's not so easy to do that. Um, yeah. So if I drag that, it won't go. Mm. If you look at but that, you know I, what? I'm going to change the title of this video to like flaws of Todoist foundations. <laughs> yeah, I know. We shouldn't. I shouldn't because no, I, 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 no, I wouldn't no. really. I certainly wouldn't criticize it. I've got no, used to it. All, and yeah, these are all like things, like we're both really active users. These are like really mm. small pain points at the moment that we know they're mm. going to fix. So yeah, we're not and, like and to, to be honest, these, this is just, it's just a slight adjustment in the way that you're using it. But I really yeah. like the sections, particularly for something like this, like buying a car, because mm, you've, got yeah. a, um, you've got different sections to it. And, you know, again, you could probably do the same with, um, I suppose, vacation is not so much so there's not not that many sections in that but, yeah. but a lot of the bigger projects as i say online course is a great example because i've got you've got the planning stage you've got the recording stage and you've got the marketing stage and there's three yeah. sections to that yeah um and each one has a set time period like for me planning takes about mm, three to four weeks yeah uh, recording is actually the quickest because um, mm. I just need to set two days yeah. where I basically lock my way in the studio and record. Yeah. Um, 
and then uh, the marketing, you know, again, it's like three to four weeks of marketing. So um, that's a great example of where you would use sections. Yeah. Uh, so it. any project that you're working on that has a beginning, a middle, and an end, yeah. that's clearly defined, mm. sections are brilliant. Yeah, that's it. Um, one of the things, Carl, that um, has come up in like a common question from people in the comments is the way that um, I, I was explaining before, the way that you can set something up like a morning routine. Um, mm -hmm. So maybe if I show you the way that it could be, oh, wait, I need access to sharing. <laughs> I think you can share, can't you? Uh, I can't. <laughs> it says I need to screen share or something like that. <laughs> I think Did it's the I... same. Uh, hang on. I've got access to recording. Um. <laughs> yeah. no, it's, it doesn't give me that option. It's, you, should, you should, down at the bottom of your screen, it should uh, say share. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whenever um, I, oh, now it's come on. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I do. Mm. Brilliant. I'll mm. show you what I mean. So mm -hmm. say, let's say that I want to create a, uh, a morning routine, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I want to have it every day at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll put it in daily, say. Mm -hmm. So let's go and find the task so it's a bit easier. <laughs> but you wish you didn't do that now, send it to yeah. daily. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then, yeah. so if I'm like, okay, you know, do the meditate, uh, read book and journal, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so let's say I, I tick one of these off because I'm actually doing it in the morning. Obviously mm -hmm. it disappears, uh. right? Mm -hmm. But then I tick off the parent task and it's mm -hmm. still not there. So p I think people are like are not annoyed, but like just want there to be a way to. Yeah. And, and that's something that was a little bit disconcerting for me when I first started playing around with this new version of to do is. And I actually now am quite used to doing this, but what I have to do is you go to the three dots. Um, yeah at the, 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 the task view. So the three dots next to, uh, I think you, you write up at the top there, the task view. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then show yeah. completed subtasks. Yeah. And again, so you got two extra or well, three extra clicks and now it's there and then you can actually uncheck it. Yeah. That was now, the only way I ideal, found but, it's but, like, yeah. The truth is though, um, we had to do this before as well. You had to uncheck mm. and check. It didn't yeah. reset every day yeah. Uh, yeah. if it was a subtask. So I've always had difficulty doing like a morning routine as subtask anyway in Todoist. Yeah, simply because it. It, it, you had to either check it one day and then the next day you either unchecked everything and then, or just, yeah, you had to come up with your own way of doing, dealing with it. Yeah. Um, but I've always had a problem doing that kind of thing in Todoist. I, I came up with various different ways of doing it. One of them was to just put the uh, the tasks into the comment section. Okay, yeah. So I okay. had like do morning routine. Yeah. And that meant that, that, and if I needed to remember what I was doing in that morning routine, I could yeah. just go into the comment section and say, right, there's the task that I have to do. Yeah, see, that's probably a better way to fix it for now, isn't it? is just putting yeah. it in the comment section and just, mm. or like not even touching the subtasks and just keeping them there um, static. Yeah, yeah, it's just like you, you, uh, you're you not getting the checks and if you, you know, I mean, for me, karma's not a big a big deal for me, but I know some yeah. people like, they want their <laughs> karma points. But yeah. the truth is there isn't, a, there isn't a great way of doing that. Is that. As you can see there with your morning routine, yeah. what it's doing is it's going to show, and you see, I love that, isn't it, mate? I have this problem with the, <laughs> Hang on a minute. Get rid of my my mail pops up onto my screen. Oh, um, it it's randomly pops up. It's a, it's a bug in the Apple system, and they haven't fixed it. So anyway, oh, going back to that morning yeah. routine. So whichever way you do it, um, what you would have to do, by the way, is if you wanted these to recur every day, is you've got your morning routine, you recur that. Yeah. Okay. And then meditate, read book, and journal. You recur that every day. Okay. So then they so would I, all come up and they would re-recur every day. So am, am I right in saying I'd have to take them out as subtasks to do that? I know they can be, they can stay as subtasks, but you'd have to re, um, they'd have to every day, 7am. Yeah. Wait. Uh, and I should, I would expect that 
they will come back the next day as subtitles. I hope they do. This is Let doing this blind, that. by the way. <laughs> I'm doing yeah, this blind. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I haven't Chris. tested this, but this is just one area where I would have tested this. <laughs> I am actually just calling this video like hacking to do as foundations or something like this. Yes. Every so day. if you... Um, I'll just change this one. Every day yeah. at 7 a.m. And then I'll go to it up here. So yes. if we check off, so, let's do so meditation. Check those, yeah, it's coming up on Thursday. That's cool. There we go. You've hacked it, Carl. I've hacked it. That's it. That's wait, how you do so, it. Wait, let's just double check. If I check <laughs> the parent task off, I'll get on. Yeah. That will come back the next day. There we go. <laughs> yeah, there that's we go. That's the way I would, you know, to be, to be honest, that's the way I would logically think about it. So now you can oh, check yeah. them off as they come through. Yeah, and and say, for example, you see there, like, oh, that's going to be overdue. So you can actually see, say, for example, Friday, mm -hmm. you're like, oh, I didn't read my book and meditate yesterday. You can be like, oh, uh, that's just the naughty. Yeah. Oh, Carl, that is, that is a gem. Hey, I think, we, I think we just fixed it. Yeah, you did. Get on. <laughs> you know, there's going to be somebody at Todoist thinking, well, that's exactly how we thought about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we should have. Yeah, that. Why didn't that's... they figure that one out before? <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's, mm. a, that's a video in itself there. You have to do a, yeah. a little video for that one. Yeah, I well, think I'll I will change now. the title of the video again. <laughs> I'll be like, it all got, <laughs> yeah. it's gone from talking about subtasks to the flaws of foundations to. To fixing morning routines. To routine. fixing, <laughs> yes. yes. We've just done it. We've sorted that problem out. <laughs> yes, I love oh, it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that was the goal of the video, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think we've done it. <laughs> yeah. But, a bit um, of rambling oh, to get there, but we got yeah, there yeah, in yeah. the end. We've we fixed the big end. problem. Yeah. I think it was worth the, all the all the chat. Um, Carl, where can people find you after um, this uh, this this feature? Oh, very, very easy. They, they can find me at my website, which is carlpoline.com. It's the easiest place you can get to my YouTube, my podcast, my blog, and my life hack articles. They're all there. And my online courses. So very, very Perfect. easy. Just carlpoline.com. Yes. And, and guys, Carl's going to be coming back to do uh, the podcast and top tips um, for using Todoist. So it's mm -hmm. going to be uh, sick. Um, and mm. we're, we're, we're going to go, we're going to plan a coffee catch up in January, probably, um, or mm. hopefully December, but let's see. Hopefully December. Yes. <laughs> if I can make my way up to Scudfall. Uh, the furthest uh, I've driven, Carl, is it's, the, it's well worth it. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. So it's only an hour, right? So right. I don't okay. think my driving skills are up to the... Well, I'm f I'll be flying into Manchester and driving across to the other side of the country, so... <laughs> oh, bloody hell. <laughs> so you're, you're going from south... You'd be going from south to north. I'm going from... East ooh, to west. East, uh, west, to, uh, west to east. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It, yeah. yeah, we'll work it out. We'll work it out. <laughs> we can work it out, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Cole. Yeah. Um, I'll catch you soon, yeah? Yep, indeed. Great talking Perfect. to you, Francesco. Hey guys, uh, this is Francesco. I am currently editing this and uh, it was really sad because right after um, the feature when I shut everything down uh, with Carl, uh, I realized that the weekly routine thing that we created, the morning routine, didn't actually work because every time you added a task um, below and you set that to every day, um, at the same time, say, it would just recreate the tasks inside of your today, filling that up, um, or and obviously whenever it's set, uh, which is a, a bit of a pain. So I, I definitely want to see something in the future with Todoist um, that allows you to set some sort of morning routine or recurring reminders. I guess it would be a little bit complicated to do because of the subtasks and the way that they work. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed the chat that me and Carl had. I hope you learned some stuff from how Carl approaches his subtasks and task view and maybe just our conversation about foundations. Carl will be back tomorrow to dive into the um, to do a side of stuff. But I, I really hope you enjoy this feature. Um, please do leave a like if you enjoyed it. Make sure you follow Carl and I'll talk to you guys super duper soon. Cheers, everyone.